Hi students yesterday we saw this lesson the lesson is some people are special who are those people whom we saw or whom we call they are special they are none other than those who are in need of care help so those people do not have normal body parts as we have we are blessed with god having all the parts of our body functioning well whereas these people do not have their normal or their body functioning normally some people have body parts that do not function properly they cannot walk or hear or speak or see so these people are called very special such special people are called physically challenged people so those who cannot walk those who cannot see those who cannot hear those who cannot speak they are all physically challenged people except for their disability physically challenged are just like all of us they are also like all of us except what they have is they are physically challenged that is their drawback that is their negative thing that they cannot act like us sometimes some people do not have normal brain you know in the third picture you can see a boy sitting he is not normal he is abnormal why because his brain does not function like us and therefore they are called mentally challenged people such people are called mentally challenged people they need our special care help people can also be disabled from birth when they are born they can be disabled by birth or they can become disabled during their lifetime during their lifetime means due to an accident or anything they can become a disabled person special people and their needs we saw yesterday what we have to do with them we have to encourage them to to be part of daily activities we need to encourage we need to take them out for a walk we need to help them in different ways and so that they feel they are part of this world this society and they do their daily activities as others do we have to be friendly with them friendly to them invite them for birthday parties picnics etc so that they feel so happy and they forget their disability and join us to share our happiness we need to help them to do chores which they cannot do on their own a blind person cannot walk on his own so that we can lead him we can lead him to his place when a deaf person cannot hear we can try to show some signs and make them to understand when dumb person cannot speak we can also show some signs to make the person understand so we need to help them in such ways and we need to help them to do their tasks household works we should not tease them it is not to tease them or make them make fun of them no we have to encourage them to go to school such kids may be are there in your surrounding we have to talk to that uh, 
child and we need to encourage the child to go to school because everybody needs education we also saw the visually challenged people how they read things how they read letters it is called blind or visually challenged people they use the braille script to read braille script is mainly made for those who are visually challenged so the braille script has raised dots in the picture you can see uh, some dots are very thick very dark they are raised they are raised dots for different alphabet so blind people run their fingers they touch their fingers and they raise dots to read they write on a six key machine called the braille writer blind people use a collapsible stick folded stick you may have seen to walk to touch things and recognize which thing they are touching and then they walk with the help of their stick walking stick so here the oral question is uh, oral question is a person who is deaf cannot what they cannot do they cannot hear one who is deaf cannot hear a blind person cannot see a dumb person cannot speak a mentally challenged person does does not function normally as i said the brain of the mentally challenged person does not function normally next what we are going to see is the aged the aged means very old people like our grandparents and the elderly people okay you must all have seen and met old people even in our family they are our grandparents are there so many of you would be having your old grandparents staying at home with you of course they are staying with us at home when people become old their bodies show signs of aging like pain in their legs and knees sometimes you may have come across your grandparents saying their body parts are paining their legs are paining their knees are paining sometimes you may help them like uh, giving them massage or um, comforting them wrinkled skin they also have wrinkled folded skin old people have folded skin white hair gray hair they have white hair and poor eyesight they cannot see most of the grandparents would be wearing spectacles so they cannot see properly so they have poor eyesight forgetfulness sometimes they forget things they may keep their spectacles on the table but sometimes they would be searching for it they would be walking all around the house forgetting where they had kept the spectacle falling teeth sometimes you may have seen uh, your grandma having very less teeth in the picture you see a grandma having no teeth so they their teeth start falling so remember growing old and aging is a normal part of all living things so once we are born we grow up to an adult and uh, to the aged once we get old we also go through all these things so we all will grow old some day we cannot remain as children we cannot remain as young people once we are born we have to reach that stage old stage it is the duty of young people to care it is the duty of all of us to care for such people such old people and love them and respect the old people and all elders as we respect our grandparents we need to respect all the old ones uh, whom we come across in our life what we have to do we have to spend time with old people you can learn many things from them how they teach us some values they teach us through their experience they teach us what to do at 
times of difficulty how to solve problems they narrate some bedtime stories so, so through bedtime stories they teach us some moral values so we can learn lot of things from them as they are wise they are wise means very knowledgeable okay they know what to do when they have knowledge to judge things properly so they are wise very clever and knowledgeable because they have experienced all the troubles and struggles in their lives and they have lot of knowledge in them so we have to express our love to them we need to love them give them a warm hug sometimes hold their hands or if your grandparents are alone like they feel left out sometimes hug them hug them at least once in two days and say you are with them so that they get comforted help them climb the stairs if you have stair house so help them climb the stairs and read the newspapers to them sometimes uh, they may not be able to read newspapers on their own we need to read newspapers to them in case they are unable to do so be patient with them speak to them be patient be tolerant just listen to what they are saying speak to them softly and politely we have to show our polite manner in talking with them we need to serve them meals at proper time sometimes old people may not be able to walk uh, to come to the dining table so we it is our duty to take the food and serve them sometimes we need to involve them in family matters and decisions when we make any sort of decision it is good that we involve our grandparents elders old people so that they can give their best ideas so take them to the doctor if they are in need when they are sick we have to take them to a doctor so give them some medicines on time we have to give them medicines on time the old and elderly people are valuable members of society we can learn a lot from them some old people do not have anyone to take care of them they live in special homes sometimes parents leave the grandparents in old age home so they don't have enough facility or sometimes they are all busy in their job in their work so they leave them in a place called old age homes those children are lucky who have grandparents at home so children who have grandparents at home are very lucky to take care of them we need to take care of them are you one of those lucky children of course i think all of you have your grandparents with you it is a curse that if we send grandparents out of our home we need to comfort them we need to help them we need to care for them and love them and keep them in our family itself as long as they live with us i hope until here it is clear about old age or aged people or our grandparents or elders any doubt you can clarify with me thank you